Hello everyone, my name of course is Artemidge and welcome to day 27 of Vida, V-E-D-A, Vlog Every Day April. Now a couple of years ago, there was a Kickstarter that came out through the company Hairbrain Schemes. At this point, you know this could be one of a variety of Kickstarter. I've gotten in massively onto myself. Of course, we had Shadowrun Hong Kong that I went in on a couple of years ago. Most recently, we finally had the release date for Battletech come out on Tuesday. Now with the issues I had getting Tuesday's video up and Infinity Night, I did not get a chance to actually look at the game with any depth until just yesterday. And so far I have to say I'm very impressed. It brings down the tabletop aspect to a great digital translation where you don't have to worry about a lot of the bookkeeping and rule crunch and things like that. You have some basic things you need to understand, such as moving further slash faster increases your evasiveness rate. Something bigger, obviously, is going to move slower. Environmental heat dissipation is a thing, such as on a lunar surface where there's no atmosphere to help with the dissipation of the heat. But a frozen tundra will absolutely help you cool right off. And I've just gotten to the point where I can actually start making decisions and I'm really loving my time spent with it. From the rulebook, you can tell I've had interest from some time. I did buy the introductory box that was released circa 2011. I have looked at the chance to find demos locally. Most are just poorly scheduled for my availability. So far with this, I've spent more time with the history than I have the actual rule crunch. I'm very much a man of in-depth fiction, if you can't tell. So I'm glad to finally get my feet wet into this universe outside the old MechWarrior games I used to play, which were very light on anything stories or mechanic-wise. If you enjoy table top tactical games or digital tactical games or mech combat in general this is probably a game you should definitely look at i'll probably give a full review a little later on once i've had more time to spend the game and it's certainly something i'll look at returning to tabletop translations with after i finish that shadow run one where i get some decent footage that doesn't get all choppy towards the end thanks for indulging me on my kickstarter gush uh, that will end today's Vita, and I look forward to seeing you here tomorrow. And until then, take care of yourselves and each other. Go blow up some three-story robots.